Hi, I'm Sylvia Tabitha's Treasures. I hope you are well and stay out of trouble. You know, I've been doing good. I actually, I'm actually uh, pretty much back to normal, all energized and all that. And so I've been sipping and running through the house, cleaning and laundry, you know, standard stuff. And uh, did some yard work the other day. Uh, was it... Uh, Tuesday I was actually tired all day and felt really really weak and then in the evening I had to get my hubby out of the bed and I dropped him almost dropped him twice and I struggled so much to get him back in the bed and I actually told him I'm so weak you know but yesterday I was back to normal and uh, so I did some yard work and but it's so damn hot out there it's like yuck so today is a lazy day I'm going to make leftovers I took out of the freezer stew and potatoes and so I took a little time and uh, to make a well overdue video today I mentioned last time in my video that I actually won a giveaway I had no idea what was happening to me Cindy Spurgeon from uh, uh, freeze babies, uh, freeze babies, fiber frolic messaged me and she went like, Sylvia, check it out, you want a giveaway. It's my very first giveaway I won since I do Tabitha's treasures on my own. And I think the reason why I won it was uh, I'm in her group on Facebook and I'm in a couple of other groups, you know, our sweet tea and Karen uh, uh, from uh, Yarn Addict so actually you know I was very very surprised so I could not believe it and so last week I got I won my I got my giveaway win she sent me a little pouch with a llama stitch marker wait on There it is, with the little llama stitch marker. And I think that's a, a carriage, you know, from a horse carriage or something. That is so cute. And then she put a hook, you know, so I can hook it on my purse or whatever. So I got that one, I love it, and I love the colors. I do love it. And then she uh, sent me a bag of tea, hot tea tamales, Sweet cinnamon with notes of rose peeking through a smooth green tea flavor. Make a super iced tea. So I'm gonna try that out. I hope I hope it's not too spicy. A dollar tea cup tea club. Never heard of that. So I'm gonna check that out. And then uh, she put in a little note even put in her little card no freeze babies fiber frolic and then YouTube Instagram and ravelry Cindy Luhu for you Cindy Spurgeon look her up she's pretty sweet and then I got the little card here oh that was in it too I don't really I don't really know what that is I didn't even pay attention to that. I cannot open it. Really? And I don't want to break the little bag. I cannot open it. But it's like a tag uh, from something. It shows like some leaves. See that? It's pretty cute. Now I keep all that stuff and uh, I don't know, it's like, my goodness. And then a little card, Expressions, you know, by Hallmark. And she will let, Hi Sylvia, how are you, sweetie? I'm praying for you always, finally sending this out to you. Enjoy, Cindy. Of course I will. So now let me show you the yarn. I love it. It's a... Uh, the Premier Sweet Rolls Sprinkle. 
and she sent me four skeins of each one of them is the uh, bubblegum sprinkles see that I looked at it the other day but you know the 245 yards each is really soft and then that one here is violet sprinkles I believe yes four skeins each and they're 245 yards each that's funny because I just I started the project with the sweet rolls uh, premier sweet rolls and now the citrus pop which I'm going to show off here in a couple of minutes I finished it up this morning I was going to finish up last night but it was like a quarter of one or so and I still had like pretty much two rolls to go and then the border what I do with my other box I got a a note from uh, a, a message from Cindy Kinney the other day actually today is her birthday happy birthday Cindy so if you watch you know I hope you have an amazing day and as fantastic as you are I love you I love you and she got me four skeins of the Hobby Lobby I love this yarn super soft super savings the me metallic and the and the colorway is the Christmas it's like five dollars a skein and I never ever get to go to a Hobby Lobby lately and the only time I would buy it is uh, either on clearance or the 30% off but if I walk in with the 30% off I always look for other stuff and so but I love it it's super soft and the only time I had that yarn was when Dana gave me something when we did have the treasures back then together so Cindy thank you so much and I'm already brainstorming what am I going to make so I got that and then Melissa Payne I totally forgot she asked me some questions about some uh, hook some hook and row markers and she sent me a whole bunch I got those on Tuesday I believe I totally forgot so I actually had an amazing week and so far an amazing month so here are the hook markers it's like when we work on projects and we put them away and I do that a lot put it away and then I need the hook for something else so I don't remember what hook I used so she made they're all little angels she made these hooks and see here that one is a J hook that one is a J hook and she got the nice carabiner carabiner or whatever how you uh, pronounce that these hooks and she got a whole bunch of those she got the D the E G K I did not expect that and like I say I totally forgot about it N F H L you know E and they're like in in blue in white turquoise purple pink I love them see here's the blue it's a beautiful blue I love it and that one is the G she asked me and I told her I use G H I J K and L a lot so love it and she made them all herself I believe they're absolutely gorgeous and then so they're all in silver right and then I uh, she made me the row markers too and they go from 1 to 10 and then gold then gold and they're all little angels too see that's the five she got the same clasp you know and the little angels the six let me see the ten she said all the way to ten whoops I dropped it that's the three let me see the ten but I think it's the here's ten ha <laughs> ha 
See how cute that is? And I will use it because I'm bad with counting rows and so on. I cannot remember what I did two seconds ago. And she got the one it's, that's, uh, you know, yellow and orange. Just beautiful, fantastic work. Melissa, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, let me see what I can do about that. I'll just leave that over there. And then, I've been a busy bee again. I uh, I made a shawl. I actually got the yarn last year from uh, Mary Wanamaker. And the yarn is uh, by uh, Isaac Mizrahi. And one of the colorways is Fashion and the other one is Regis. I showed it off last year when I got it. And uh, the reaches actually I used for the border. It's 127 yards. And that it asked for a M hook. And I think I used an L hook. So at that one, and then that one here, the only 68 yards of skein. 68 yards of skein. They're 85% acrylic and 15% wool. And that one asked for a Q hook, and I used a P. And I had seven skeins of the fashion, which I used it all up. I just got a little bit left, and I did a you know, the triangle shawl, all just regular double crochet. And the border, I did like a, a, a V-stitch, a V-stitch, and then I went around with the uh, reaches, and I did the four double crochet shawl stitch with a single crochet. It is heavy, and it's big. I had a lot of comments with that shawl when I, uh, posted it on Facebook so I got that one here and I need to be very careful who I donated to because of the yarn the wool and then I made a shawl my next projects I show they're all the same pattern <laughs> it's boring you know and I used for that shawl here it's the same like the same pattern like my uh, Isaac Mizrahi uh, shawl and I used the uh, the premier just yarn colorway linen and I doubled it with the with the um, summer nights yarn the the island breeze and for the border I used the summer breeze uh, I used the summer breeze um, passion fruit and then I did a six double crochet shell stitch for the border. It's fairly good size. And I thought I used up, that's why I made so many projects with that yarn. I thought I used up all my linen and God wanted it. I go in my closet <laughs> and I think I, I have like five or six more uh, of, of that yarn but that's okay I will use it and then I made a bag and that bag was actually supposed to be a beanie but it got too big and I liked it I liked it so much it's like a sack and that's the linen and I doubled it with the um, summer nights uh, passion fruit and then the little the little slap a strap or whatever you call that I did the uh, back post back loop stitch and then I went around and did the four double crochet shell stitch made a little loop here with a button and I crocheted it on see right there and then I did the strap I did this strap and it's uh, I think I chained like 100 stitches and I went around with a four double crochet and one one uh, slip stitch. It came up pretty cute. I like it. 
And actually, if you want to use it like on a walker or so, you can slap it over the, I mean, strap it over the, the bar. So I got that one done. And that one here was supposed to be an ear warmer and it got too big too. So I just made a cowl out of that. You know, the linen with the passion fruit, the summer nights passion fruit, all double crochet. And then of course the four double crochet shell stitch with a single crochet. So, so and it came out so little because I thought I was out of that yarn. Oh well, you know, what happens. And then, what else? So these are it, and this here, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I started that one uh, Sunday evening, and I finished it up this morning. That is a uh, blanket, 36 by 36, and the pattern is uh, by Scorpio Rising. It's called the Combo Stitch. It's a one row repeat. I sound so professional, uh, professional now. One row repeat and it's reversible. And the combo stitch, and I used a little bit, look at that, I used a little bit over five skeins for the, for the blanket. And the border, I was playing again. I did the same like the, like the combo stitch. And the combo stitch goes like, one single crochet, one half double crochet, one double crochet. And then you go over to the other loop. And so for the border I did one single crochet, one half, one single, one half, one double, double, half, single. So that's how I made the border. Look at it. I love it. So now I'm thinking about uh, but I'm gonna start with something small, maybe a scarf or an ear warmer or something like that. See if I can make a project with that, with that stitch. I love it. I absolutely love it. And that blanket is, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I have a, I have to make a baby blanket, but I have to wait till uh, we know the gender so I'm already on another mission, you know, put on another mission. And uh, our son came by last week, Sunday. I gave him his Texas flag blanket, but I don't really know, but his girlfriend says that he really likes it, you know. And uh, she loved it, and she actually wanted me, when I asked her uh, that I would make a, a queen size Texas flag blanket. I just have to get more yarn for that. And uh, and then my my bestie's uh, daughter-in-law wants me to make that Texas flag blanket for her too. And speaking of my bestie, uh, if you all could her, please put in your prayers. She's going to have surgery tomorrow and things are always so difficult and complicated because of all her other health issues. She has a malignant melanoma and she's going to have her surgery tomorrow and the spot is right that's smack in the middle of her back. So if you all please could put her in your prayers I would really really appreciate it. I am so worried you know that I'm going to bug her son, you know, he's going to be at the hospital with her tomorrow. I'm going to keep on bugging him, you know, till I know that everything went fine. And I was sweet tea, you know, but she's doing great. She lost a lot of weight, you know, and uh, she's in a good spirit, you know, trying to keep up, uh, you know, her positive vibes and, and praying and all that. And uh, she's exercising twice a day, an hour each, and uh, wheelchair yoga. You know, she caught me late last night, you know, and, you know, so if you guys could keep her in your prayers too, but she's on the best way of recovery. As long as I've been knowing her, you know, she sent me, sends me pictures sitting in the wheelchair and, and waving and all that. She looks so adorable, you know. 
if you guys could keep her in your prayers too I would really appreciate it so anyways I'm done for today I'm going to uh, tackle my ready to go projects cabinet I totally destroyed it and then you know I just take it easy today I'm gonna be you know working on my Tabitha's treasures projects and uh, just go from there and just do our dinner and that's about it alrighties guys well thank you all for watching thank you thank you all for your support I want to thank everybody that helped me so far with the yarn and stitch markers and little projects and so I really really appreciate it and this month is like yeah I still need a Christmas yarn peeps please you know I have some but it's I don't want to do all the projects and you know the same yarn and so but I will get it but if you all please could spread the word even it's just one skein or Christmas buttons or anything Christmas day. Yes, please, please. I love you guys. Thank you all for watching. Y'all have a blessed day. Love you. Hugs, hugs, kiss, kiss. God bless. Laters.